For this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to emulate a Texture Studio backdrop using Luminar. First thing we're going to do after the file is loaded into Luminar is click New Adjustment Layer. Then add a filter. The filter you're going to use is Texture Overlay. Next thing you're going to do is load the texture. Mine's is already pre selected here, Portrait Back. And you'll see this appearing over the image. The zoom control allows you to zoom the texture in and out until you get it to where you want. For the purpose of this, I'll leave it there. Next thing, use the brush tool to erase the parts of the image that you don't want their texture to be applied to. So I'm going to go in here and paint very quickly. When you're doing it, take your time with it. Using this method allows you to keep your backdrop collection to a minimum. And this can also be used to blend in skies or other objects to your images in Luminar. Just to check to see what I've painted and what I've missed, I'm going to check the mask tool. You can see there's a bit there, a bit there. As I say, when you're doing it, take your time. And the brush size can be increased or decreased using the square brackets in your keyboard. And we'll just take a wee bit out there as well. To see, I'm doing this quick, so you take your time. And I'll just take a wee bit more out there. Let's have a look at the before and after. Turn the brush off first. Now have a look at the before and after. Before, after, before, after. Last but not least, add a new adjustment layer, add a filter, the vignette. For me again, bring the vignette in. Just about there. That's how quick it is to add a textured backdrop using Luminar. You would take your time when you're doing it, but that just shows you how simple the process is. Thanks again for watching.